garden as you can see it's a bit of a mess it's early spring early spring looks like that around here you can see some beds are not prepped yet i've got to get to work on those for sure and others are already in use i've got veg in there that love cool spring weather and you can see here i've got my broccoli in already these plants i started as seeds in our basement so in another episode, I'll show you what plants make up my spring garden. They're plants that love the cool weather. But today we're talking about how to make sure seedlings that you buy or have started inside will make it and thrive when you transplant them into your outside garden. So this is a process called hardening off. You have to gradually expose your seedlings to the weather outdoors before you plant them. So this process takes about two weeks. If you don't harden off your seedlings, they may get super stressed and take a long time to recover or they may wither completely and I'll tell you if that happens to me I'll be so bummed out because I babied these little seedlings that were in my basement for so long. Okay so these are the seedlings I'm hardening off to put into my spring garden. These guys uh, are in my garage right now. There's broccoli, lettuce, kale, chard, onions, bok choy, and a bunch of other greens. So you want to start by bringing your seedlings outside in the shade or on a cloudy day that's not going to get too much wind, so block them from the wind at first. But wind kind of helps strengthen their stems and leaves, but if you haven't had them in the wind, you have to help them adjust slowly. So you want to leave them outside the first day for a few hours and then increase that time every day for about two weeks. By that time, they will be ready to go into your garden. When it is time to plant them, try to do so on an overcast day or late in the day. Uh, give them a drink of water and then you can watch them grow. Super exciting. I love the springtime. It's such an exciting time of year in the garden. Another reason why I really, really love my spring garden is because all of the goodies that I'm growing in it are really good for your health. Greens are good for your heart health, you know, part of the Mediterranean diet. And also there's lots of antioxidants in it. They're low in calories, low in fat, but a lot of fiber. So they're really good for you. And I can't wait to show you some of my yummy recipes that I'm going to cook once these plants get a little bit bigger. So you can look forward to that. Don't forget, so much research shows that being in the garden or even around a plant inside is good for your soul and your well-being, your general health. So go ahead and get your fingers dirty. Thanks for checking out the garden. See you next time. Tossing it back to you. Thanks, Viv. We still have a lot to come. We've got some actors here from Three Musketeers and our question of the day. 5% of people polled claim they never get bored.